The world is teetering on the edge of war. Russia and the West are becoming more and more vocal in their threats. Is this fear of imminent military action fact or theatre? The conflict created to distract the public from a larger and more terrifying fate. A threat not just to nations but to the entire planet. Is this war of words created to hide the fact that an alien invasion is upon us? Hello, welcome to IF. Hit that red button to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications each and every time we upload. The idea of an alien invasion has been played out in countless numbers of books and videos, but could we see this scenario now coming to pass? Recent theories have arisen that claim the US is planning to stage a fake alien invasion. The government working in conjunction with NASA and other agencies. This with the compliance of mainstream media outlets will enable them to enact a project that has been years in the making. Dr. Stephen Greer, a well-known ufologist, speaks openly on this plan. Very deep unacknowledged special access projects have been involved in the hoaxing um, and faking of contact events for their psychological warfare value. The V-2 rocket was invented by Werner Von Braun. His spokeswoman for the last four or five years of his life is a whistleblower on our team, Carol Rosen. And she said on his deathbed, Werner Von Braun said, they're going to basically hoax an alien threat to unite the world around a military junta doing the psychological warfare preparation since the 50s and 60s. So what I'm saying to people is that 90 plus percent of everything on this subject, on the internet, in documentaries, on TV, is disinformation designed to sow confusion and fear that there's a threat from outer space. Tensions are continuing to rise, the Russian borders peppered with military forces from the US, France, Germany and the UK. Could the alien threat be used to defuse tensions and focus all nations on an outside threat? We can go back to the famous speech made by President Reagan. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? This may sound like a fantasy to many, hinting at the desperate state of the world affairs. World leaders hoping for an outside influence something which is beyond their control to enter the picture and distract from the fact the world is pretty messed up and that this has happened under their governance. For some this is an idea that cannot and should not be left to chance. They have crafted scenarios that would simulate an outside threat in the form of an alien invasion. Going all the way back to 1952, the CIA have been working with the government's scientific intelligence director on such a scheme. Notes sent during this time tell of how the CIA routinely worked on UFO cases, this as sightings continued to rise through the Cold War. During their investigations of these UFOs, they found that people have become somewhat preconditioned to accepting the idea of an alien invasion and that this psychology could be used to the advantage of the government. In a memo it was noted that the news of potential alien activity or possible invasion had the potential to spark mass hysteria and panic. In the paranoia soaked climate of Cold War it was decided that steps should be implemented to identify all enemy aircraft as the Russians could take advantage of the UFO phenomena to attack with the added advantage of creating mass panic and confusion. This was a situation in which they could seize control, global martial law for a global threat. The Cold War may have passed but today the climate of fear between Russia and the West is once again at the same level. Could we be seeing the operational use of the plan that was devised in the 1950s? This plan would have needed to evolve 
and new projects using the old threat may be ready to be implemented. These will be a lot more sophisticated than say the War of the Worlds radio broadcast which caused mass panic in 1938. Could we see the infamous Project Bluebeam coming into effect? Project Bluebeam being the conspiracy theory first given to the world back in 1994 by investigative journalist Serge Monast. He outlined how a four step project designed by NASA and the United Nations would allow these organizations to accomplish a new world order and a global dictatorship. The four step process reads as follows. Step 1. The manufacture of natural disasters, earthquakes, flooding and other events created to cause panic and have many turning to religion for their answers. Step 2. An answer from space. This is where we get the name Bluebeam as he says satellites will be used to beam holographic images of the figureheads from all of the world's major religions into the skies above major countries. These images then merge into one, this new image being the one God for all faiths. This new deity would then begin instructing the peoples of the world. Step 3. The controlling of the world's populace. Here the new world order would use telephonic communications devices, sending waves of information into each and every individual mind, convincing them God is speaking to them directly. Step 4. Alien Invasion Various technologies would be used to fool people into thinking that an alien invasion is taking place, thus making it easier for the powers that be to take control of a fear addled populace. This may seem a little far fetched but stop and think about each of these steps. Have we not seen them occurring over the recent years? They may not be exactly the same as what was laid out in 94 but the world is not the same place. So plans would need to be tweaked and changed to suit today's social climate. Let's take a look at step 1. Not only have we seen many natural disasters but we have the mother of them all in global warming and climate change. This threat has been used to implement so many changes and invoke massive amounts of legislative change. Those that speak against the science are scorned and silenced while those that go along with the programs are rewarded with billions of dollars in research grants. Carbon taxes creating another form of revenue for the governments of the world and new laws regulating everything from rainwater to the car you drive keeping Joe Public in his place. Step 2. We know that the technology is out there and that a holographic image could be projected but I think that is only the means to an end. The goal here is to discredit religion, not just one religion but all religion. Once again we see that happening around the world today, religious terrorism turning people away from religion, those that won't turn from their faith then fighting and are killed leaving those without faith. Even in countries which are not gripped by conflict we see the social justice movement and the rise of PC culture demolishing people's traditional values and ideas. This then creating society which is of a weaker mind, this priming the population for the next step. Step 3. Mind Control The idea of a device beaming thoughts and voices into our brains may have sounded like the future in 1994 but remember that was an era before the rise of smartphones and the prevalence of the internet and its social media sites. Today people are constantly plugged in, the phone has become the device used to influence thoughts and control how we see the world. Fake news broadcasts 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year creating doubt, the loss of trust in the barrage of information we receive creating the need for a group or a person to step in with the perceived true answers. And finally step 4. The Alien Invasion this may have begun with the asteroid named Oumuamua. So one of the explanations we have to have to consider is is it artificial? Could this be a spacecraft? And so and it, it, to try to discover that, what's happening now? 
So what, what SETI are doing is, is they are looking at it with a, with, a, with a radio telescope. They are going to be looking very carefully for any sign of signals coming from the objects. They're going to look at the shape a lot better because it is a, still a long way from us and moving very quickly. Um, and also they're going to see if they can detect any trace gases coming off. And what about radio transmissions? I mean, that, that is what they are you know, trying to see if they can get. I mean, what is the likelihood of that actually happening? Well, you know, if it turns out that this was some kind of artificial device, then we would expect some signals to be coming off, off of it, at least, at least with our technology. There is one thing we do know. We know the way in which it reflects light, and it reflects light very similar to certain asteroids that are covered with, with organic materials. So we have an idea what it's made out of. And what do we think that is? is. Scientists sowing the idea that this could be an alien probe, maybe sent to scout the planet, or something worse. The seed has been sown in people's minds. The asteroid itself has only appeared as a computer rendered image, as no actual pictures exist, as it is said to be too far away for a photograph. So we must trust them with this information they are giving us. So I refer you back to step 3 and the establishment of trust. Do you think that we are being manipulated with a threat of a global conflict? Do you think this threat will be used to activate a plan like Project Bluebeam? Do you think we are seeing a global coup d'etat? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The channel is quickly approaching its first anniversary. I cannot believe a year has gone by so fast. I thank all of those that have been kind enough to subscribe and support me on this journey. I hope you have seen the channel improve and I promise to work hard and bring you guys more interesting and better produced content in the future. For those of you who are new here, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Join this great group of people in the comments section and let's discuss this weird world in which we live in. Don't forget you can find us on social media. Just search, we are if. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for your support. See you next time.